2019 is the year 5G became a reality, and 2020 is widely believed to be the ramping up year for 5G rollout. Backhaul is a fundamental part of 5G infrastructure, often with extreme requirements in terms of capacity, latency and cost efficiency. So what's a balanced 5G backhaul paradigm look like? Microwave, the dominant wireless backhaul solution, has 70% technology share. So what is the latest progress and what does the future outlook look like? Today, Huawei Live is honoured to have Dimitri Mavrakis, Research Director from ABI Research, to share his views on the 5G wireless backhaul. Welcome to Huawei 5G Live. I'm Professor Sally Eves. It's a real pleasure to be here today with Dimitri Mavrakis, ABI Research Research Director. Lovely to meet you today. Great, great being here, Sally. Thank Real you very pleasure. much. My pleasure. I'd love to really drill down, first of all, about backhaul infrastructure and what your perspective is on the impact of 5G upon this, particularly for tech adoption and also for network development too. So there is a big difference in backhaul for 5G, essentially because 5G introduces a lot more traffic into the network. So everything has to scale. And the, the immediate technology affected is backhaul. So, and of course, microwave is a very interesting technology for 5G as well as 4G. But, you know, in 5G, uh, it has a particular significance because, you know, 5G does need very high speed transmissions. So, microwave is certainly technology that can fulfill these requirements. Absolutely. And drilling down into that a little bit more about mobile networks, can you just give a little bit more detail about the specific role of microwave and how that plays? Fiber is not anywhere, everywhere. So, and in many countries, it's very expensive to trench for fiber. So, and I'm talking about thousands of, tens of thousands of dollars. So, microwave is, relatively speaking, a much cheaper solution compared to fiber. And certainly a very viable solution. So, we see in, se in some markets, it may take 50% of, you know, backhaul. Uh, but in other markets, it may be as high as 90%. So, for example, if you take a European capital, it's nearly impossible to dig. So and that's perfect for microwave. And, you know, with current technological advances in the backhaul uh, segment, it's possible to have it in 5G as well. Fantastic. And also looking at 5G and LTE, looking at those backhaul requirements, what do you see as the main differentiators between them? So, basically, we see three points in, term, in differentiation between 5G and 4G. So first of all is, you know, more speed is necessary because simply 5G is carrying more traffic. So backhaul needs to carry a lot more traffic as well, 10 times more. We see a need for lower latency because 5G promises low latency. So backhaul needs to be even lower latency. And the third one is that with 5G we expect a lot more sites, in, especially in the city area and in urban areas. So backhaul needs to be, you know, to cover these scenarios as well. So we see things like uh, point to multipoint, for example, star topologies. So it's basically these three areas. Okay, so capacity, latency, performance and, and coverage. Correct. Fantastic. Um, and also looking ahead at microwave and its impact for society, I think a massive opportunity here around connectivity, particularly in the developing world. Could you explore a bit, a bit more about the digital divide and how we can make a difference here? So in developing countries, uh, there is a lot of need for mobile and we have seen it across Africa that mobile networks are stimulating a lot of societal mm -hmm. society changes. And backhaul is a key problem because it's very expensive and difficult to lay fiber. And in most cases, microwave is 50 to 60 percent lower cost compared to optical. So certainly backhaul is a key priority for uh, bridging the digital divide. Fantastic. A massive opportunity here really to lay that foundation for, for more sustainable change. Go on, very quick final point. Future trends, what excites you the most and what, what might be the key challenge to look at as well when we look at microwave? So there are requirements for microwave to advance as well and we do see that in the market at the moment. So we see some technologies having been developed for 5G like uh, MIMO, massive MIMO, multi-user MIMO is being applied to the backhaul domain to improve you know, the technology itself and how backhaul can be deployed. So we think, you know, as 5G advances, backhaul technology will advance as well with it. And that's a very positive uh, argument for operators. 
Absolutely, and again, bringing together digital transformation and societal over a period of time as well. Fantastic. Thank you, Dimitri. Really appreciate you your insights. Much, Thank you for sharing. Thank you.